So I think coming up in YA literature, everyone always wants to know what the next big trend is going to be. And I think that subsequent to, you know, paranormal has been really popular, and then we've had dystopian, a slight surge in there. And so I think when you want to look and sort of figure out what's going to be big next, you look and say, what do those have in common? What's the trajectory? Where are we going? And I think the things that paranormal and dystopian have in common is they have a lot of world building. Um, so whether it's a futuristic version of our world or a current world, they give you a lot of neat details about a world that you could go into. Um, so, you know, Harry Potter and Hogwarts. A lot of people wish they could go to Hogwarts, even if none of the characters were there. It's got this really entrancing world, which is something I think a lot of paranormal books have going for them, too. Uh, in dystopian, it's not necessarily a world you want to go to, um, but it is this world that's got a lot of details that you can imagine being there in that position, even if none of the characters were there. I also think with paranormal and dystopia, you have stuff like strong external conflicts, um, characters who are coming of age while facing these incredible odds. So if I had to guess on what's going to be big next in YA, I would say it's things that share these properties but are set in the real world. So I think you're looking at things like action adventure, psychological thrillers, things that take us into different areas of our own real world with that same kind of complex world building and external conflict, um, but that on some level could really happen in a way that a lot of these paranormal things couldn't.